Records in lands to the press for the freedom, salvation, contribution of My greetings to um, every one of you at this very time. I welcome you to um, today's broadcast. And um, I'm always your host in this house. And today I have with me a guest, Bro Israel Aji by name. So he'll be with us, um, with each and every one of us at this very moment. I will be discussing briefly um, on obedience. We're going to see what obedience really entails. You understand, I mean, um, we will get to know um, our obedience when we obey, what happens, and then why we should um, also obey. So that's what um, our brother will be discussing with us briefly at this moment. So um, why should we um, really obey, and um, what does obedience entail, and then when we obey, what the complaint says, also. When to start with, uh, what do you mean by obedience? Obedience, um, obedience is, a, is a state of obedience, while obedience is, a, is kind of a being subjective um, under a command or, or um, a higher authority. Mm -hmm. so, um, so in this case, when we say um, obedience, is, obedience brings a blessing. So who is that higher authority, and who are those two? Who are those? So before you asked, um, before higher authority asks you to do something, he already has something for you. Yes, yes, actually. Okay, so you have to be able to get something, something from yes, him. Yes, yes, okay, yes, that's yes. in your own terms. Yes. So now obedience is like um, subjecting to higher authority. Yes, okay, yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just like it's just like saying um, here is obedience. You pick the word obedience. And you pick the word blessing. Mm -hmm. We can um, substitute blessing um, with another word, a reward. Reward. Mm -hmm. So when we say um, I want to reward you, um, there must be something that uh, you must have done, because a, a reward wouldn't just come like this. Mm -hmm. There must be something that um, you might have done. I'll say, ah, uh, you've done well. Let me let me reward you. Or let me like a, a, lab, a laborer receiving his wage. Yes, yes, at the yes, end yes. Of the day. yes, yes. Understand. And um, we can um, turn to um, Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, verse thirteen. Let's see the reason why we ought to obey God, and the paramount reason of life, and the main reason of existence, and why we ought to obey God. We as humans. Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, verse thirteen is this. Um, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. It says, Fear God and keep his commandment. For this is the whole duty. The whole, the whole duty of man. So if we can pick the word the whole again, the whole duty. Not just the duty of the man. The duty of man. Everything. The whole duty of man. That is, we can put it um, we can like at the same time talk of obedience in the whole duty of man. What if um, we have somebody that's is kind of um, it's not wholly dedicated or wholly obedient to the duty. Um, how will his blessings look like? Hmm. Maybe you get half blessing, half 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 blessing, and, 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 something like that. So, what is this? Can, can something like that happen? Maybe kind of we are not we are not too dedicated or too obedient, so to say. Maybe your part obedience in this aspect and this aspect you are not obedient. Mm -hmm. How will your blessings look like? So in this case, um, we see we can look at um, Deuteronomy as well. Deuteronomy chapter eleven, verse thirteen, where God Himself spoke to Moses and told them and said, "If and it shall come to pass, if he shall hearken diligently." Mm -hmm. Unto my commandment, which I command you this day, to love the Lord your God and to serve Him with all your heart and with all your souls. He says that I will give you the rain of your land in this one due season, the first rain and the latter rain, that thou mayest gather in thy corn and thy wine and thy oil, and I will send grass in thy, in thy field for thy cattle, and that, that thou mayest eat and be full. 
He says, take it to yourself that your heart be not deceived. And ye turn aside and serve for God and worship them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we can be able to see that there's nothing like half blessing and half obedience. Because God here instituted and instructed that word. If you word diligently hack him, if you take the word diligently out of that, it becomes, it, it, it like compromise everything. So when you diligently hack in, that is when the blessing becomes. I you know, you know pro the problem with most people is that they remove that, they don't know what is written in verse 13, and they don't know what is written in verse um, 16 also. They just claim blessings. That is why so many people will sing the song, Abraham, blessings are mine, and then so many things like that. Abraham, blessings are yours, but are you keeping the commandments of God? Are you diligently um, um, acting unto the commandment of God? Then you just go ahead and start reading, um, I will give you rain in land, in the land, in the due season, and the first rain, and the latter, and then so many things. I decide, I I guess um, what scared people away, so to say, is... You see the word diligently here. Mm -hmm. I could remember when I was very much small. I think this word scared me. Anytime I diligently. So when I when I grew up, I said, God help me, help me, help me, help me. Diligently, 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 diligently. Diligent. I think this um this is a word that we can't do really with. Mm -hmm. Diligently hacking unto the Lord. I think diligent has to do with it. Being thorough. The word thorough, diligently has to do with that word. In fact, that's um, one of my days to the secret of success. I have the four days. I call them, um, you might have known them before, you might have heard of them before. I used to keep to the very well. I, talk, uh, I call it um, diligence, um, discipline, um, determination, and also desire. Those are the four days. And my point is that um, diligence you now falls into um, I, um, keeping the commandments of God. If you cannot keep the commandments of God diligently, you understand, then you will fail in some aspects. You might fulfill some. Uh, you might obey some, mm? you might keep to some, mm? you might take it to some, but you won't be able, you understand, to um, fulfill the old command. You might not be able to obey the old commandment. So, yes, yeah, it says you are unto his commandments diligently. Then, verse 16 says, You take it to yourself that your heart should not be deceived, neither should it turn away. You understand, turn to another side. You understand that I should turn away from the side of God. That I should either, uh, um, turn away and then you start serving other gods and then start um, worshiping them. So I think I think um, Psalms also, um, Psalms, the spirit um, through David wrote something in Psalms 93 verse 5. It's clearly spelled out and written. A, a platform at which God walks. Mm. It says that testimonies are very sure. It says, Holiness becoming thy house, O Lord, forever. Um, a life without God has no platform. A life without God has no a, a, a platform that God can come down and war, and, and that God can come down and fight for he or she. Mm. Holiness is that life, is that platform that God from heaven comes down and work for that person in his or her own career, in his or her own circular life, whichever like financially, academically, spiritually, all around. Um, and besides, um, holding, um, I mean, um, blessings comes along with obedience. When you remove obedience, there's no blessing. When you remove obedience, if there's anything like blessing that will come, it's just an unmerited blessing. Mm. Though we don't merit the blessing or all, because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But when you remove the word disobedient, that is what you call it what you uh, maybe a backslider can come into play. Somebody that has been obeying God and, and is now turning back. I think God clearly said something to the um, to uh, those kind of people, Amos. Should we Amos? Um, Hosea chapter 8 verse 3 Hosea chapter 8 verse 3 It says Israel has cast on the thing that is good The enemy yes, shall pursue him She shall pursue him So anybody that has turned and forgotten about God Disobedient in that very aspect um, The enemy will come Because what? That life that God once stood for him That God defended him 
the platform is no longer there. God is already there, but the enemy will come and run out again. And who will you run to if you have no God? <laughs> that, 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 that is where you will see people uh, praying um, fire brigade prayer. You know what they call fire brigade prayer. They start praying and start praying and start praying and telling themselves that ah, something must happen. You understand? That is well, uh, when, when, when people are asked at times to break against um, an attack upon their life, pray that you will, uh, um, the devil will not have his way in your life and several things like that. Yeah, you will see people pray, pray, and pray very well. You understand why? Because they've, they've disobeyed in several aspects. You understand? Then, just to try to um, 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 cover up immediately. You understand? Then they start obeying at that very moment, obeying their praying immediately. You understand? So that the enemy um, wouldn't um, pursue after them. Say, Israel has cast off the things that are good. You understand? And then the enemy pursues after him immediately. You can see the life of um, David as well. Mm -hmm. David, David attracted, David's life attracts God. Daniel as well. Daniel's life attracts God. If you, read, if you read Daniel, I think Daniel in the reign in about three reigns after um, Nebuchadnezzar, Belshazzar, and the subsequent president that came up, Darius. I think da da Darius, Daniel reign because of what the Bible says that what he proposed in his heart. I think that should be diligence also. There was a kind of a strong determination yeah, and a strong that's diligence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that has to do with obedience as well. Mm -hmm. So obedience as well attracts God because the Bible says that what God what is in heaven and what his eyes is looking and um, is looking. Who are those? Is there anybody that is obedient here that can be able to help? Anybody in trouble? Anybody in what what? When 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 one doesn't what, obey God, when one doesn't hearken to the word of God um, to a great extent, is meddling with, with his or her own life. Mm. So obedience has to do with blessing. Join us next Saturday for the continuation of this program. Thank you. Thank you.